Hello everyone. Today, in this video, I will show you how to convert a non-managed environment to a managed environment or how we can enable managed environments for the selected environments in Power Platform step-by-step. Step. By the way, what is a managed environment in Power Platform? A managed environment in Power Platform is a feature designed to enhance governance, security, and operational efficiency for apps and flows. It provides advanced capabilities such as usage analytics, sharing controls, data loss prevention, DLP, policies, and proactive notifications. Managed environments are ideal for production or compliance-sensitive scenarios, offering centralized monitoring and streamlined lifecycle management. They help organizations maintain control, ensure compliance, and optimize resource usage. So, how can we enable the managed environment feature or convert a non-managed environment to a managed environment? I will show you that. This is my Power Platform Admin Center homepage where I have logged in using my Power Platform Administration account. And I have enabled the new Admin Center mode. I am changing back to old classic mode. This is the classic mode view. And here you can click on this environments menu. Then you can select the non-managed environment that you want to convert to a managed environment. Please be aware that here, you can select more than one environment. After selecting your environment, you need to click on the Enable Managed Environments link. Right? Then, the Managed Environments configuration page opens. You need to configure the Managed Environment settings, then click on the Enable button. Another way of doing the same thing is to select your environment, click on the three dots, and then click on the Managed Environment link from the Ellipses menu. So using this also, we can open this page and we can configure and enable the managed environment. Right? Then I will show you the same thing using the new Admin Center view, where the navigation is not same as the old one. So I'll show how you can do it from the new Admin Center page. So let's enable this into a new Admin Center page mode. Try the new Admin Center. Let's turn this on. The moment I turn this on, I can see the new UI of the Admin Center. This new Admin Center's look and navigation are different from the old one. Click on the Manage menu from the left side panel. There we can see the Environments menu. You need to select your non-managed environment that you want to convert to a managed environment. Here, you can see the environments you have access to. Select your environment or environments as you can select more than one environment. For this demo, I will select my default environment, which is non-managed. You can see the managed. Property is set as no. That means this is not a managed environment, and the Dataverse table has been configured in the environment. Now, let's convert this non-managed environment into a managed environment. So you can either directly click on here, on this Enable Environments button, or we can select this environment and click on the Enable Environments link from the Ellipses menu. Both the links will open up the Enable Managed Environments page. Here, before enabling your environment to a managed environment, you may go through each section and see what exactly it does and what it means. And let's read this out one by one and see each section of this configuration. At the very first, we can see managed environments. It increases visibility and control for personal productivity environments. 
Then we have licensing details. Users will need a Power Apps, Power Automate, or Dynamics 365. License with premium use rights to use the respective resources in this environment. Autoclaim. If a license autoclaim policy does not already exist, one will be created for the tenant. You can control if the policy applies to managed environments only or to all environments. You can see the tenant settings from here as well. Autoclaim policies for Power Apps. Where should license autoclaim policies be applied? You can set the autoclaim policies for Power Apps here. You can select all environments or only managed environments. So this is how we can configure here. I'm not getting into that. Then we have here manage sharing settings. It helps to reduce risk and keep data secure by limiting how widely apps, flows, and agents can be shared. Under this manage sharing configuration, we have Power Apps, Power Automate, and Copilot Studio. Let's expand each section. For Power Apps Canvas Apps, if you want to set any limit, you can configure it here. This is the default configuration, which is not set to a limit. However, you can change this to exclude sharing with security groups. Then we can limit total individuals who can share to. Right? I'm not changing the default setting. I'm showing how it can be done. Then we have Power Automate Solution Aware Cloud Flows configuration. Whether to let people share Solution Aware Cloud Flows. By the way, what are Solution Aware Cloud Flows? Solution Aware Cloud Flows are Power Automate flows created within a solution, enabling seamless deployment, versioning, and dependency management across environments. They support structured ALM for enterprise scenarios. This is the default configuration we have. I'm not changing it. Then we have Copilot Studio. As of now, this is in preview mode. Here we can manage the editors and viewers permissions. Let owners and editors give other people in this. Environment editor and viewer permissions. Editors can edit, share, publish, and use agents while viewers can only use them. For editors, this is the default configuration we have. Let people grant editor permissions when agents are shared. For viewers, we have let people grant viewer permissions when agents are shared. Then we can select only share with individuals, no security groups and limit the number of viewers who can access each agent. I'm not changing this, showing it how it can be done. Then we have solution checker enforcement configuration. What does it do? It automatically verifies solution checker results for security and reliability issues before solution import. Check for security and reliability issues in the solution checker results, but do not block solution import for any issues. Then we have this checkbox, like send emails only when a solution is blocked. If unchecked, you'll also get email when there are warnings. So this is the email notification setup for the solutions. So this also you can check and set this up then. Under excluded rules, we have multiple rules that we can exclude. In this configuration, select solution checker rules to exclude from enforcement. Right? 
These are the various rules we have here on this page, and these are categorized and grouped into various sections. Like we have performance, upgrade, readiness, usage, security, design, maintainability, supportability, accessibility, and licensing, right? And each section has its own set of configurations. You can check those checkboxes based on your requirements. You can exclude these rules. By selecting the respective checkboxes, right? So this also you can do it. I'm not making any changes here. I'm just showing what we can do here, right? Now we have Usage Insights. It gets Adoption Insights like Top Apps and Flows in this environment. Here you can select Include Insights for this environment in the Weekly Email Digest checkbox. So, this is the Weekly Digest Email Notification Setup. You can configure whether you need it or not. Then. We have Maker Welcome Content. It provides customized welcome content to help makers get started with Power Apps. You can copy and paste or enter markdown or plain text here. Then we have Enable AI Generated Descriptions. Configuration. Let Power Apps do the work for you. If descriptions of apps or solutions are blank, AI will be used to generate them. This will happen when an app is published or when a solution is deployed. This can help people understand what the purpose of an app or solution is. So, if you need an AI generated description, you can check this checkbox here. Then we have data policies. It helps safeguard your organizational data by limiting the connectors available. So after reading these instructions carefully and setting up all the configurations, you can click on this enable button. By now we are ready with the managed environment configuration. So let's click on this. Enable button. My managed environment is being added. The moment I change my non-managed environment to a managed environment. The managed environment property is changed to yes from no. From now on, your environment will be a managed environment and you can manage it from here. Like, you can make the changes to whatever you did so far in the managed environment setup. Let's refresh this page. Right? What you can do is From here, you can manage your environment. Settings. All right, so this is how you can convert your non-managed environment to a managed environment. That's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot 
Gen AI. Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.